Good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. How are you doing? This is your girl, Yvonne Michelle, and this is Morning Inspiration. How are you all doing this morning? Good morning, Instagram. Good morning, Facebook. For those of you who are on the replay, just joining us, do remember to put your hashtag replay on the thread and also your comments, how this is helping you. So this morning, I want to say good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Freedom Friday. Yes, it is. It is Freedom Friday. As you can see, I'm fussing a little bit. I'm fussing a little bit because I want to get this right. So, okay, so Freedom Friday. How are we doing, guys? How has the week been? We have been talking about... Guys, it looks a bit dark. It's, I know Instagram is fine, but hold on. Let me see if this makes any difference. Does that make a difference? A little bit of a difference. I'm not liking this on Facebook. Anyway, so I'm going to carry on. Um, so, good morning, Amina. How are you doing? So this morning, we all week, we've been talking about um, manifestation, right? We've been looking at manifestation because it was a question that was asked from one of you guys, wanted to know how to manifest. How The question was, how am I manifesting the way that I do? So I've done it into a five-point breakdown, and today is breakdown number five. But I want to know how you guys are doing this morning. Um, yesterday, when we were talking at, afterwards, there was lots of comments. And so I thought to myself, maybe on a Friday, what we will do is we will do a, a little bit of a different session on Friday. And I would do like Q&A and things like that on a Friday, or just having a look at what we've gone through, how you found it, any questions that you might have in particular, and maybe do it that way. I know that once I start in my, in my, um, in the GEM group, in the global uh, movement, global empowerment movement, we will be doing lots of things like this because we're building our future. We are building our own wealth and that is the purpose of it. So um, today I'm gonna give you tip five of how to manifest and manifest on a level and keep this going as so it becomes part of something that you do. And one of the things that you have to do, guys, is raise your vibration. You really do. Your vibration has to be at a higher frequency. It really does in order to tap into this on a regular basis. And it also means that you have to take care of yourself, which is something that I'm learning. I'm learning this as I go along because I'm telling you the, the energy that I've been experiencing, I've, I've not experienced this level of energy um, that I'm operating on for I don't even believe I've been operating like this ever. Something has changed for me. Something has really changed. And so I want to be crystal clear with you this morning. I'm, I'm not here to, to feed you a story. I'm here to lead you in a way that works. And um, lots of things that we do is trial and error in our lives, right? And we know this, it's trial, it's error, we make mistakes. I've made loads of mistakes, but it's better that we learn. We can learn from other people's mistakes, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do this morning, I'm gonna go through tip number five, and then I'm gonna throw it out to you to just, if you have any questions of anything that I've been talking about this week in terms of manifesting, that you can then come and ask the questions, right? So the last one, so let me just go through what we've been through. Right, so the first thing was think about it, right? So it was about acknowledging your thoughts, acknowledging what your thoughts are, and where you want to go. So th that was the first one, you know, thinking about what you want to manifest for real, right? And putting that thought in your mind's eye and working with that. Okay. So I'm good because I've got my notes. So I'm just going to go through my notes on my phone. Right. So, so number one was think about it. Think about what you want to manifest. And then um, the next thing was to visualize it. 
right? So even it's better if you can visualize it because you need to use your imagination to generate the feeling you'll have once you get what you want. So it's about us tapping into our, um, we're going forward in our steps, right? We're going forward in our steps. We are um, thinking about what we want. So we're visualizing what it's, and we're also going to, we're not only visualizing it, we're feeling it. Right. And I don't even actually I don't even think I mentioned that on Monday. We are actually feeling it. And this is sometimes why it's good to, to refer to your notes. Right. So the second thing, step two, was create it. Take uh, the desire plus the feeling and create a brief affirmation. Remember, we I am. I said on Tuesday, the Tuesday's truth is not I feel I like I think I would. I should. I could. None of that. It's I am. So create an affirmation, a strong and powerful affirmation around it. That was step two. Number three was write it. So we need to, so once you've got, you've, you've visualized it, you feel it, you embody it. That's the word I'm looking for. You embody the feeling, you embody it. And you think about what it's going to feel like when you get to the end. And then you live in that moment. And this is why I'm telling you, your energy raises, that your frequency changes. And, and I'm telling you, you need to look after yourself. If you are going into business, especially those who are going into business, especially those who want to, to create products and who want to help people, you need to get this. You need to look after yourself. Yeah, inside and out. Right, okay. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Right, so that was it, create it. Right, um, sorry, write it. So it was... Think about it, think it, create it, write it, right? That was the third one, write it. So write it down, and I was saying about write the vision down, make it plain, put it around so you can see, right? Especially in the beginning, put it around. So when you start getting those negative thoughts, because they do come, you can see your vision, you can see it, and that will help to boost you, that will help to keep you on track. Number four, which was yesterday, was watch it, right? Watch it. And I talked about the seed yesterday so after a certain amount of times um you've got to begin to pay attention to the synchronicities around you and the opportunities around you that was number that was number four number five today and we did kind of cover it on wednesday and thursday somebody covered it somebody said it number five which is your freedom today. It's Freedom Friday, guys. It's Freedom Friday. Come on. This is Freedom Friday. And we've got to live like, we've got to get to that mindset at the end of the week. We are free to do what we said, what we spoke into existence. And number five is receive it. Yeah, we have to be in a position to receive because we sometimes we're in this position of the wanting. And that's our position in our minds. Want, 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 want. But no, we have to change the mindset. Remember I was telling you that the, the, the battlefield is here. It's in the mind. It's in the mind. This is where it all happens, right up here in our heads, right? So you have to be in a position in your mind, in your spirit, in your body to receive what it is that you have desired, right? So what does that mean? Yvonne, what does that mean, Yvonne Michelle? What does it mean? It means that when you are, when you are manifesting, you want, and you're thinking about that, that one thing, that one desire that you want to bring forth into your psyche, into your environment, into your life. When you're, you have to think about, it's like me saying, let me give an, an example. I want to be a singer. I want to sing on a stage and I want to I want to perform at Madison Square Garden yeah okay that's a desire but then you've got to backtrack so that's the end goal so backtrack to where you are now right in your receipt because I want you to get this I'm back in track to where I'm now am I doing vocal lessons no um am I singing in front of people no uh, am I doing anything that looks like the end goal no so to manifest it, am I positioned in the right position? No, I'm not, because I'm not in, I'm not positioning myself in the right place to receive that end goal. So my saying, oh, I'm manifesting, 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 I'm not doing any work to support that. 
Does this make sense to you? So in order for you to receive it, yes, you can put the order in. But when you put the order in, because this is what Lolly um, Bailey had mentioned, which was right. When you put an order into Boohoo, you put the order in, but you make a transaction. There is something that happens. There's a shift. You make a payment. There's a transaction so that when you then okay, sit back, you can expect the delivery to come. Do we get, are you getting me? Are you understanding what I'm saying? So there is a transaction. So in your receipt, guys, I want you to hear me today in this Freedom Friday, in your receipt of the manifestation, what did you or how have you positioned yourself, one, to receive and two, what was the transaction? Because remember, we've gone through the process, but in all of this process, you have to be in the position to receive. OK, so I'll give you one more, one more uh, example and I will bring it here. I will bring it back to this week, what happened this week, that some of you saw what happened this week. This week. Monday was supposed to be this big uh, interview with Freddie McGregor, remember, and we had a time it was set and it didn't happen on Monday. And previous to that, I've been working on radio for years. I've been doing this a long time. This is not a today thing. This is not a lockdown thing. This has been going on as a process, right? And I want you to hear me because I'm not saying this to, to boast, or but I'm, I'm telling you this to press upon you the necessity of what you have to do to get these manifestations. You've got to be in it. You've got to be in it to win it. You've got to put your energy, yeah? So that you're so the synergy can work and bring forth. So if I wasn't in that realm, would that have in that position? Would the, the interview have had to happen? No. If I wasn't doing what I do here on social media, would that have happened? No, because the person who saw me online, let me tell you this: the person who saw me online would have thought, oh. This is a good, oh, this is a good person. Let me just hook this person up with this person to make this work. Do you understand what I'm saying? You've got to position yourself to receive. Positioning is key. And that means that you've got to get into whatever it is you're in and be in it to win it. So what is it that you want to be in to win? My question is, because from, from, now, I want to see the manifestations. I want to see your manifestations. Because if you're following me, it's like uh, 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 I'm your coach. I'm coaching you. I'm showing you what I'm doing, right? So I want to see your results because that's what I'm about. I'm not, yes, I'm, I'm, I might be friendly with some of you, but I'm not your friend. I'm not your friend. I'm your coach. And I want to see your results. That's how I stay. That's how me steer, right? That's how I stay. I am your coach, and this is what I, I'm expecting to see great things from you guys. I want to I want to see you guys moving. Right, so I'm going to go to some of the comments. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see my phone as well. So good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, Barbara Caraman. She's saying, think it, create it, write it, watch it, receive it. Come on, that's right. Thank you for putting that in, in the uh, thread there. Um, Veronica's saying this is why we need to renew our minds and our thoughts. Absolutely. We need to renew our minds every day, guys. Every day. Sometimes it's every moment of the day because sometimes we don't have a great day. Sometimes we have a brilliant day where we can just do what we're doing. But sometimes there are things that are pressed upon us, things that are going on in, in our environment that will cause us to think in a different way. So we do need to, to um, think about things every day. Right, um, Lolly say, yes, receive it. As when you place your order, online order, you make sure you're able to accept the delivery. Absolutely, you have to be in position, right. Um, Lolita saying, I'm hearing you good this morning. Amen. How are you? Uh, okay, Lolly saying, this is why I start off small to make sure I have the resources to receive. Boom. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it, Lorraine. And, and Sheena saying, I'm moving. Things are happening. Good, good, good. 
Right, so please give me an example of when you have had a negative thought in the past and it manifested just to prove the point to people how important it is to keep your mind healthy, grounded and strong. I believe everything we have been through, we have manifested ourselves. Boom. Do you know something? And that was from L Lolly Bailey. Listen, one of the things I was, because um, um, this is right, we're going to a little bit of Q&A, right? So last night, yesterday, I had this thought and I was, I was actually watching um, the George Floyd funeral. And it just came up across and it was uh, so heart wrenching. But after the fact, after all of that was all said and done, there was a, a political video that came up and and afterwards somebody said, you know, uh, death and life is in, they said life and death is in the power of the tongues. We have to be careful what we say. And this is what I say all the time, right? And I said, like, oh, this is good. But I actually heard it differently. I heard it differently yesterday. And I want to share it with you because it just it was just like a, an aha moment to me because it and it goes exactly to what Lorraine Lolly has just said. Now, that's the, the statement death and life is in the power of the tongue. This is how it's actually written in scripture. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. And so we we as a people, we speak negatively all the time and we don't even realize it and we do yes we do um we do draw the negative to us by the words that we speak they have power and so we're saying speak life speak life speak life but you know what i actually said to myself we have the power to 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 bring death to things that we don't need in our life. Remember I said to you, we are powerful. We are full of power. So we are speaking life. We are speaking love and we do this. And this is what we are supposed to do. We're supposed to speak life. We're supposed to speak the positive things that we want to receive. But there are some stuff in our life. There are some shitty stuff in our lives that we just put up with. We just put up with it. And we try and work around it and we try and manipulate it. We try and solve it. We try and do all these things with because we've all got that stuff. Right. But we also have the power to get rid of that stuff. We need to wake up. Yes, we're attracting the positive and we're focusing on that. But there are some real stuff thinking things that we've got in our lives that we don't need. And we have the ability to speak death to that so it never comes back. Do we understand that? That it never comes back, it's never a problem anymore. Do we understand that, right? And I want you to get that because in what we are saying this morning is about our position this morning. It's about our receipt of the manifestation of our heart's desire, which could look like anything, business, husband, job, anything, anything you, you, you know, you value. So why is it that we just put up? We just put up with stuff when we have the ability to speak and declare death to that thing. So that situation never rises itself again. We have the power to put a stop to so many things that we don't. We don't because we don't. This mindset is not. It's not there. It's not where it should be. It's not in the right position. And we're not we're not transmitting at the right frequency. I, I hope you guys are getting, I hope you guys are getting this and I hope you understand it. Right, so Barbara has a question. I go through gratitudes every morning. When should I receive my manifest before or after? When should I review my manifestation before or after my gratitude? Before. There's the word. It's before, because when you are having gratitude, you are at the completion of I'm, I'm giving thanks for everything. So you can't then go back and then be manifest. Do, do you understand? Your gratitude is about your manifestation. You are grateful for the manifestation that's about to come. 
And that's it. That's it. Do you know, yesterday, let me tell you something. Yesterday, right? And it's a real, real simple, simple, simple thing. I like um, oxtail rice and peas. It's really weird. It's just a thing. I'm just going to say, I like oxtail rice and peas, but I don't cook it, right? I don't cook it at all. And I buy this thing from a place in Luton. I actually buy it from the Checkers Pub. That's a bit of a plug, right? Absolutely beautiful food. And I haven't had this thing since the lockdown. March the 19th was the last time, right? And I thought about this thing, 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 fancied this thing. You see, you see, <laughs> yesterday, it came to fruition because they opened the doors, they're selling it, and I went, and you know what I did? This is no word of a lie, guys. I'm just being honest and transparent. When I got home, before I even took a mouthful, I was like this. I thank you, 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 I thank you. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you for the food. <laughs> for the food. When I was eating it, oh, thank you. I'm telling you, it's sweet my soul, it's sweet my soul, it's sweet my soul. But when you have something in your mind, and I'm saying, God, they have to open their doors, they have to open their doors, they have to open it. And lo and behold, their doors are open and they are serving food. And I ate my belly full and I felt good. Right. That's just a weird thing to say, really weird thing to say. But I wanted you to understand in terms of your where you position your gratitude. Your gratitude is your thanking everything. When you walk away from your gratitude, there's no, oh, by the way, no. So when you're having your gratitude, you have your gratitude, you know what you're grateful for and you speak to God, you speak to the universe and you say, I am grateful for X, Y, Z. And you do all of your affirmations and you're done and you do your day. Your manifestation comes before that because you then giving gratitude for what's about to come. I hope that makes sense. Right. So Lolly's saying, I understand what you're saying. Great. Right. Uh, my sis cooking OXO today. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Can have it two days on the truck, you know, still got some leftovers. Anyway, Veronica's saying, you know, we have the power in our words, so therefore we are in charge of what comes out of our mouth. You should speak with conviction. Absolutely. Absolutely. Lolita saying, yes, oh girl, speak it here, this lovely lady people. Oh, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. I hope, that, okay, we've got some other ones here. Let's go here. Ruth uh, Doe saying, oh, Right, thank you. If I'm sure you've taken over my morning meditation, okay, okay, Barbara. Uh, let's see what else has been said. Um, Astrid, good morning, Astrid. What you're saying now, I've had I have been thinking about roti and curry. That's what got in touch to say that as he was doing some deals on food. So I'm getting mine today, absolutely. Listen, way to the heart is true food. Ruth Doe is saying. I will thank you. Tuned in at the right time today. Von Michelle has taken over my morning meditation. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. All things, in all things we give thanks, Joanna Brown. Absolutely, in all things we give thanks. Right, you are speaking with truth. You have accepted, we have accepted negative things that are not good for us as people. If we want change, we have to bring it about. Absolute boom. That's a boom moment. Yes, Joanna, absolutely. Absolutely, right. Barbara Cameron said it really does work, so please do give it a go. Since adopting Yvonne's methods, my life is changing and I'm finally beginning to generally see my vision coming to fruition. Boom. Thank you very much for writing that, Barbara Caraman. It's, listen, it's up to us. It's up to us to move forward. It is up to us. If you're with me, be with me. If you're not with me, you're going to get left behind. That's what I'm saying. If, if you want to move forward, whether you are, and this is the thing, the global empowerment movement initially was about women, but I've had, I'm actually working with a couple of men now separately because they're seeing this. And so I'm just saying, guys, if you want to move forward in your life, if you want to do something different, if you want to progress, if you want to create your own wealth on a different level, and I'm talking about a different level now, right? This is where, you, this is where it's at because I am sick and tired of us struggling. That's that's the bottom line. I'm sick and tired of us, you know, um, 
uh, paying, uh, begging Peter to pay Paul and Paul to pay Peter and, and never having enough. We're supposed to have enough. Why? Because we are more than enough. You are more than enough. I'm more than enough. We are more than enough. Oh, everything that we need, we already have. We just need direction in how to get it. That's all. We have the power right here in the palm of our hands and we're not using it to the best of our abilities. Guys, are you with me, guys? Get on board. Get on board and let's move together. Nobody should be really left behind. And like I said yesterday, the day before, in this movement, we are all moving together. And if you if you get left behind and you're finding it hard, we're going to support you and pull you with us. But if you're one of the, if you, I'm just going to call it a spade a spade. If you're one of those lazy people that don't want to do nothing and just really ready to sit down and sit on another person's back like that person is a donkey, I will remove you. I will. Because we have to be of the same mind. Two cannot walk together unless they are agreed. Two cannot walk together unless they are both linking arms and walking together and pulling together and doing this movement together. This is what this is about. We we are stronger in numbers than what we are when we are single uh, singular and doing our own thing. So I'm just saying to you, in this network, in this network, I'm looking to promote people. I'm, I'm doing global um, conferences in Barbados. I'm doing a global conference in America, and I'm doing one in South Africa and one in the UK. I need speakers. I need people with products and services. I need, I'm looking for people. Why should I go out of my circle when I've got all what I need here? Why would I do that? So this is why I'm raising up other women at the moment. And I'm raising up a couple of men who are doing there. The men are working, man. They're doing their stuff. They're doing their stuff. So guys, I'm saying, please get on board, get on board, get on board, get on board. Ruth does say, Coach Michelle, I'm so on this. Been trying manifestation, positive thinking, affirmations for months, but find it hard when negativity is so strong. You've explained it so well, so we'll try it your way. Come on, Ruth. Come on, Ruth, come on board. I'm telling you, get on board. Move with this movement because I'm telling you, your life will change. Barbara Caraman has confirmed that. Right, Barbara Cameron says anyone can talk the talk if you want to see progress changing and action is needed now. Absolutely, action is needed now, right? Not tomorrow, now. Um, right, so let me go to some more comments as before I come off. Um, Deborah Chaz said, thanks for answering manifestation before gratitude. We'll do from now on and they don't need to be massive. I'm grateful to be safe and well. Absolutely. Uh, that's absolutely true. Thank you for that. Lolly saying it is for everyone to receive no matter what what gender. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, guys, um, you know, I am thinking about... Um, in a minute. <laughs> right. So Lolly saying, I am, I am. Let's stop saying I'm. Yes, true. I am, I am, I am. I said it earlier and noticed my mistake. That's right. The power of I am. I am. I am. I am. The English, the, the language that we speak is so powerful. It is so powerful today, guys. So um, we've got Paul DeCosta on Instagram. He said, I totally agree. I believe in all that alone. Right. So, and I'm saying we are not alone. You guys are not alone. We are all working together. And I'm just saying to you guys, if you want to, to move forward with me, if you want more of this, this is something in my global empowerment movement, which will become a norm. This is something that, you know, I want to see you guys doing stuff. This is not, this is not the Yvonne Michelle show. This is about us moving. And if I grow, you grow. When you grow, I grow. That's how it's supposed to be. And that's how this movement is. We need to move forward. We need to empower each other. We need to hold space for each other. We need to be there for each other. We need to trust each other, knowing that we are human and we make mistakes, guys. Hear what I'm saying, right? But we still need to trust each other and we have to give people space to be in their humanness, all right? 
we remember this remember this guys and remember this day so you're gonna go forth and manifest so i want to see and i want to hear and i want to know what it is that you're looking to manifest and i want to hear the results because that's what i'm about results i don't i'm not here to chit chat even though I will chit chat with you, but I want to know what your results are. I want to know what your expectations are. I want to know how far you want to go. I want to know how big your vision is. And because I want to stretch you to stretch that vision even bigger, to expand your, your, your mind, expand your curtains, expand everything about you to make that vision bigger. Because our vision really, people, is too small. And that's part of the problem. The vision is too small, right? Make your vision big. Make your vision make you feel uncomfortable. Make it make you feel uncomfortable and get what needs to be done done. I'm going to say this, right? Astrid, I'm going to say this to you directly. And I'm not singling out anybody, but I've been watching you and I've been watching your work ethic. My darling, I want you to set one goal. And I'm and I and I know that I know that I know you'll get it. You will achieve, you will manifest that one thing that you want. And I want you to think big and I want you to do it. And when you manifest it, I want you to tell us. And the reason why I've called Astrid out in particular is because I see this woman positioning herself hardcore. She's on it. And so I'm just saying to you, Astrid, today, make that one thing be very clear. Bring that thing that you want so close to you in your imagination. Make the colour brighter. Yeah. Make it bolder. Make sure whatever it is, if it's got a sound, make sure you hear what it sounds like. Make sure you feel what it feels like for when you receive it. Because when you receive it, we want to know. Astrid is a coach and I see Astrid online every day and she's doing her stuff. She's positioned herself and positioning herself. She's working hard. And I'm not saying any, no one else is doing it because I see other people doing it too. But in this particular occasion, I'm, I'm pushing um, Astrid as from coach to coach. I'm pushing you and I'm saying to you, I want to hear and I want to know what you manifest. Right. Because it must come to you. Right. So, um, Lolly's saying, thank you for empowering us. Very grateful. You're very welcome. Half I look at that. You hadn't even read my message, but still confirm we need to grow together. Yes, 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 yes. Guys, listen, we are at 32 minutes. We're, we are now over time. So I'd set myself till, till half past. We've got some new comments here. Right, Ruth Dowie saying, thank you, honey, needed this this morning. I am, I am, I am, amen, amen, amen. Listen, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, and those who, who will catch up with this, be inspired into your transformation. This is what these mornings are for. These are to inspire you into your transformation. Your transformation is down to you. You can transform your life. If I've transformed my life, didn't come out of, out of school with uh, any qualifications, didn't come out with uh, my life. If you know my life story, one day I will, I will talk some bits on my life. I've had a life. It's been very challenging from beginning to, to, to adulthood. You have the power to create the life that you want. You've got the power to create the, the, the career, the home, the relationships that you want. You have the power. You have the power, right? It's all in your hand. So with all of that that we've learned this week, I want you guys to put that forward. I want you to start to use the tools that you are getting. Guys, this is this is free stuff, yeah? And it's not always going to be available. Let me just say that because once we the empowerment, the global empowerment movement it is where I want it to be, it's going to be a closed community. But I'm giving you guys the opportunity to work and to not just work with me, but to work with us. 
Because within our group, there's going to be people from every walk of life that offer different things. So you might not even need, you know, you might say, oh, I need this in my business. Oh, I need that in my business. And it'll be right in the group. And we in the group look after we in the group. That's how this thing is going to work for the members. So I'm just saying to you this morning, I have left on the thread the link to join the global empowerment movement. If you would like to join, join. The doors are gonna shut on the 10th of June and it's gonna be shut and we will probably reopen, I don't know when. But I'm working with a group of people and we're moving forward, don't get left behind. Don't get left behind. We, we know that we have to move. We know that we've got to do things differently because so many of us have been affected by this COVID thing. So many of us are in our houses. So many of us are furloughed. So many of us, have, some, some people have lost their jobs. So, and, let, and, and what this has taught me is that nothing is stable. The only thing that we have uh, that we can stabilize is the things that we have control over. And so you have control over your life and what you do. I have control over my life. I don't have control over nothing else. And so it's up to us now. It's up to us to move forward. It's up to us to get what we want, to stop the talking and do the doing. And so if you are ready, if you are ready, and you are willing to move forward and build your own and create your own wealth for your own community, right? If you then jump on board. If you are not ready, if you do not want to earn, if you do not want to create your own income, if you do not want to live a life of freedom, if you do not want to be in a group amongst people who are going somewhere that are like minded, that are progressive, if you do not want to do that, then this is not the place for you. But if you do, if you feel like, you know what, enough is enough and I'm sick and I'm tired of living from moment to moment, I want to create the life of my dreams, then this movement is for you. And I would encourage you to join before it's too late. The 10th of June, what day are we on? You've got five days, five days left and that's it. So guys, this is me. I hope that you have got something from the learnings today. There was, <laughs> Pauline said you left with a few, no, I didn't leave with it. Actually, if I'm honest, I left school with one qualification. Pauline said you left with a few more qualifications than me. I left school with not one, but found the power within me. And I'm moving on. There's a greatness in all of us, absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. I left with one qualification. I left with a CSC, because it wasn't GCSE when I went to school. It was a CSE PE. Yeah, I was good at sports. I was very good at sports, right? I was good at running. And I had that in my life. I ran from everything. I ran from every responsibility. I ran from take, doing stuff, what I was supposed to do. I ran and I ran and I ran from everything that I was supposed to do. And then I stopped running. I got some heels and started running in them. <laughs> Paulie will understand that. She will understand the running in heels. It's a little bit of a slogan because, you know, I'm a heel lady, right? And I'm always here and everywhere. So I'm always running in my heels. But I, that, yeah. And look, I'm, I run my own business. I do my own stuff. Yeah. Everything that you see, I do. I do it myself. And that's why I'm in a position to teach you. All right. So anyway, and I feel very, very spiritually connected to all of you today. As um, Lorraine was saying, I feel spiritually connected today. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for me to go well over time today. Well over. Um, so take the five steps, use them this time next week. I want to know what you've manifested because I'm expecting that it's going to be like that. Because and if you're not positioned, it will. It may take a little bit longer. It may not. 
It just depends on how high you are frequency, your frequency is in terms of your um, and where you're vibrating. So listen, try it. Uh, Amina saying, this has been amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here. So every Friday, this is what I'm going to do. Every Friday, we will come and we will have some question and answers. If you have any questions, um, line them up for, in the week. And so on a Friday, we'll have a longer session and then we will move on from there. All right. Um, Pink Diamond on on um, Instagram. Good morning. And um, she's saying she loves these lives. I'm so glad that you're here on Instagram. All right, guys, have a blessed day. Have an amazing weekend. And remember about your frequency. Remember now what your thoughts are. Remember the five steps that you have to do, right? The five steps that you have. Um, and I will show what Barbara put there. Just to remind you, if you didn't know it and you're just coming on, these are the five steps. Think it, create it, write it, watch it, receive it. That are the, Those are the five steps of manifestation. Good morning, um, Linda Wissart. Thank you for joining. Those are the five full steps of manifestation. Think it, create it, write it, watch it, receive it. You got it? Think it, create it, write it, watch it, receive it. And it's done. I will see you back here next Monday for morning inspiration. Be ready, be ready, be ready to rock and be ready to roll because we got somewhere to go, people. So I will see you nine o'clock Monday morning for morning inspiration. But for now, ciao. Much love. Ciao.